This is the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. Um, it's 4K, but it'll also plug into high-definition TVs and data projectors. Uh, it's HDMI output and USB for power. So we'll go ahead and plug the USB cable into the USB port. Uh, in regards to HDMI, I tend to pop that into uh, HDMI, HDMI port 1. If I have a, an available cable, I'll pop that into the second port so that you've got a backup option when it comes to projecting. Also keep in mind that this is designed for Windows, PCs and laptops, so other devices will need to connect through that HDMI cable. You can connect to the wireless display adapter by either using a keyboard shortcut or the notification center. So turn on the TV and you'll actually see on the screen that it will actually tell you to type Windows K and that should bring up the notification center. On there you'll see your TV, you'll possibly see other display adapters, click on your one. The first time you connect to it you'll probably have to type in a pin number but then you won't have to type that pin number again. The pin number will stop people from being able to randomly project to your TV but at the same time because it's a Windows only device um, students won't be able to just cast their Chromebooks without your permission. If you couldn't see your device try the notification center, click in the bottom right hand corner, click expand if it's been collapsed and then if you have a look at the connect button then you can just go ahead and click on connect and connect to your device. After all of that, if you still aren't able to connect to your wireless display adapter, then the next option is to probably pull out the USB power to remove power from the device, plug it back in again, and then hopefully you should be able to connect. The other option is to restart your computer just in case your computer is messing about. Now once you're connected, you'll see a notch at the top of your screen that will actually identify what you're attached to. Um, you can see that there's a disconnect button, so obviously you can click on that to disconnect. You don't want to leave the, um, the display adapter running all day because it can become problematic. You probably don't want to have that notch sitting there all day long, so you can unpin it and then just move your mouse back up to, up to the top to bring that back up again. Um, if you're not mirroring your screen so you can't see what's on your desktop, just tap Windows P. -P. You probably have your display setting set to extend rather than duplicate. So just go ahead and change it to duplicate. Um, we have used extend before and often it works well, but in um, recent times we've found it's been a little bit messy. So sure, go ahead and have a crack, but at your own risk. So this solution enables you to literally sit anywhere in your classroom and cast to your TV or mirror cast effectively without having to be tethered by a cable. It's not a bulletproof solution, um, although we've been using it um, in ICT for a few years now, so we're pretty confident with it. Um, it doesn't enable you to cast student work unless they share that document with you, say a Google slide or whatever, and then you pop it up on the TV, and if they want to um, move slides and control them themselves, and that's possibly where having either a wired mouse or a wireless mouse would even be better and then they can control a Google slide. Um, it also stops students from like I said just constantly trying to connect to your TV through their Chromebooks so it gives you com complete control over what's happening with that device.